Hello everybody, so I recently spent the last few weeks running the MSI Mag uh, A850GL in my daily build, and here's my take. So out of the box, uh, it feels solid, sturdy, housing, snug fit, modular cables, and a solidly aggressive MSI logo that doesn't scream gamer flair. But if you prefer a cleaner look, this is great. The PSU itself is surprisingly compact for a 850W unit, which made riding the cables in my mid tower case much easier than I expected. And in a day to day use, I never real uh, never noticed any coil whine or abrupt fan uh, ramp up and even when i pushed my gpu and cpu pretty hard the fan noise actually barely crept above a whisper so definitely quieter than some of the older units that i've tried um but i appreciate that msi went with the quality japanese caps inside there's just a reassuring uh heft to the components so i feel confident it'll stay rock solid at, over time and performance wise i'm not one to obsess over the efficiency percentages, but I did notice my system ran significantly cooler and the 12 volt rail stayed rock steady, even under occasional power spikes when gaming hard. So I never saw any random reboots or voltage dips and having the extra PCI E5 cables on hand is a nice future proofing move uh, to even if I haven't swapped in my next gen GPU yet. Um, but on the flip side, it's not the cheapest option. As you can see right here, it's $129. But if you're just b building a basic to mid range rig, you could snag a similarly rated gold PSU for a little less money. But if you, reliability, quiet operation, and a clean modular setup is th th what matters most to you, the A850GL is worth that modest premium. Bottom line, it's solid, no nonsense choice if you want a dependable 850 watt gold unit and a tiny bit of future proofing without paying for, you know, fi fancy R RGB options or an over the top aesthetics. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you later.